pre-workout and creatine, what's not to love? What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to 2022. I hope you had a good new year. I hope you had a good Christmas. I hope you dodged COVID. I didn't. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably know that. But anyway, uh, COVID free now and ready for the new year with new goals. And I've been quite vocal about what I want to achieve this year. And I suppose this video is the start of a series where I'm gonna be prepping for three separate endurance events throughout the year. Why you ask? Well, one, I think I secretly like hurting myself. I say things like this now and it sounds good, but then actually at the time, I hate myself for it. And secondly, because I know a lot of you are in the army, interested in fitness, or preparing for a fitness challenge or preparing to join the army. And basically what I wanted to do is allow you to follow a running program that may tailor slightly to you. So I'll be very honest about how the program's going. I've done a lot of research into what I think is gonna work uh, and how to increase my mileage steadily over time, etc. But that is essentially what I'm looking to do um, is to implement a program which combines weight training and running to really up the mileage steadily over time uh, to then do these endurance events. But that's the plan for 2022. So a lot of running. I'm still gonna be doing stuff with work alongside it. Uh, so I'll be bringing that sort of stuff to you. And I've got two series, separate series planned for later in this year, um, in a few months time, which are looking to, to launch. I think they're really gonna be awesome. So I'm looking forward to that. So in a nutshell, that's 2022. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I will be putting up regular content on there uh, pretty much every day and I'll be able, you'll be able to track my progress as we go through this journey. So do head over there, it's at DJRXP and you can follow us on Facebook. And if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, click subscribe now. Sweet. So the way the running training is gonna be broken down at the start is three runs per week. Okay, so we're gonna have um, a run on Monday, which is gonna be an easy run, a run on Wednesday, which is gonna be another easy run, and a run on Saturday, which is gonna be a long run. We're then gonna go into week two, and that's gonna be, again, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. The only difference is the second Wednesday run is going to be a hard run. So sprints, intervals, whatever it is. First, let's get to the gym. And um, what's going on? Right, cool, so in the gym, this place is sick. It's by far my favorite place on camp. Uh, just give you a quick whiz. There's another room just through there as well. Uh, simple but effective. Right, so the plan for today. So today is my push day, which is gonna revolve around bench press today. So I'm a firm believer in like overall strength. It not only equips you better to deal with arduous challenges and all that sort of stuff, but it reduces the risk of injury as well. And good compound movements such as bench, deadlift, squat, overhead press, that sort of thing, are key for overall strength. So, uh, bench presses today. <laughs> Now, this part of my training program revolves mainly around reps. The first two weeks are gonna focus on four, four sets of eight reps. Uh, I did this the other day um, on deadlifts, and I gotta say, the reps started to kill me. So I think it's really good to go back and start changing the reps because your body reacts to it in a different way. Change is good because it shocks the body, forces it to adapt, forces it to grow, um, and hopefully get stronger, which is the aim. So the scalibur, always plan ahead. We've been looking at the calendar. Designated driver, but I'm sitting in the passenger. Stacking up our bread, we just watch the numbers adding up. I ain't gon' front, we gon' need a fucking ladder, bruh. All that shit don't matter, you can tell them niggas batter. Uh, I mean my pocket's fat enough Hit her with that stamina Her ass keeps getting fatter, bruh Pull up in the maxima Turned up to the maximum We in here laying tracks again This hit was designed And it wasn't by no accident Like Dill said on tempo Had to switch up the tempo And we never forcing vibes Cause we keeping it simple This be space time Continue I'm breaking speech The clock's tick tocking Quit watching I'm making heat Get burned Turned Flip like a snitch When I spit words Quick I spit the Shit. Then I dip swerve, driving to a lane less invested with lanes, and I cess burning. Fuck who you saying the best? I'm playing chess learned. Y'all was playing checkers, Papa Sans and my beside. I was off the fucking rock and nothing changed, cause I'm still on one. To a fucking million, I'm crazy beyond. 
Hey, work out done. So like I explained in that one, uh, working at eight reps at the moment, so four sets of eight reps predominantly. That was what failed. I didn't get, quite get eight reps, but six to eight on 105. Um, well, one at 100, three at 105. So happy with that. Uh, that's the starting point for 2022. Obviously, people like the training goes a bit out the window over Christmas or not so much training, it's more just food and drink, uh, for which I am definitely guilty. So um, I'll keep you monitored on my progress and then after that, and then I just went into some, you know, separate work. So that's the gym done. Now I'm gonna have a shake. Um, I'll do like more nutrition stuff um, in future videos, but then dinner and then I'll go for a run uh, and that'll be me done. All right, sweet. I'll see you when I go for a run. Run done. So in terms of details, I'll bring it up on the screen, but this is what we're rocking with. So I'll get the old Garmin Connect up. Someone asked me if I use um, Strava. I don't use Strava. Um, but here we are anyway. Four miles uh, and then 32.51 overall. Uh, 589 calories but this is the bit I'm pretty pleased with so as you can see steady yeah so I'm not breaking any records with that that's fine don't need to at this stage but that's some more detail for you okay and as you can see at the bottom average cadence 181 all right which is you know I went to um a sort of running coach last last year uh, and we looked at my cadence and it just wasn't high enough and that was contributing to why I was getting injured um, but that is uh, I'm really happy with that cadence as well and it felt good there were times when I had to cut the pace a little bit just to make sure I was staying at a comfortable pace um, but average of 8 13 minute miles uh, best pace 727 that's probably like on a gradual uh, downhill on gradual decline um, but overall pretty good If this video is being beneficial to you at all, then please give it a like. It really does help me out. Click the bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. Uh, and if you haven't already, please click subscribe. Any questions, leave it in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. See you next week with a brand new video in a bit.